With the install CD you get with the Epson Artisan printer, you'll find a program called Print CD. This will actually allow you to put text in with your images. Let's see how that works. On the software disk that comes with the Artisan printer, there is a software called Print CD from Epson. I'm going to get that going. I've got the little icon right here on my desktop. All I have to do is double click it, and the software starts up. Then I'm going to choose a background image by clicking on the background button, navigate to the file I want to use. This flower is pretty cool, and click OK. There's our background image. So now I think it'd be fun to add a couple more pictures from my day at the park uh, onto the cover of the CD. So all I have to do is click over here on the picture button and this will allow me to select some others. So let's say this one, move it into position. Let's find another one. I think there's one of the dog here. There we go. Select that one, click OK, position that where I might like it. Click the picture button again, we'll get one more picture here. Ah, the sailboats. Such a lovely afternoon. Position that in here. Don't worry about anything hanging off the side. If you notice this little border going around the edge, that's where the edge of the CD is. So anything hanging off the edge there isn't going to show up in your final printout. We've now placed pictures onto the template to print onto the CD. But let's add a little text. That way we know what these pictures are about. I click on the text button, and I can type my text in here. A day at the park. We'll go through the settings here. Select your font. You can adjust the size, what kind of style it's in, and its positioning. Let's change the color to white. I think that will stand out a little better against the flower. We'll add a little drop shadow to it. Won't add a border, and we won't do any distortion with this one. Then I click OK. There's my text. I can scale it by grabbing these little handlebars in the corner. If I want to make sure that it keeps the same size ratio, simply hold down the shift key and drag out the corners. Well, it's running across the middle there. And not only that, it's kind of straight and the disc has a nice curve to it. Maybe there's a way that we can use that with the text. If I double click it, it opens up the text settings again and you'll see that right here in the text window underneath where you enter the text in, there's a little selection called Auto Arch. If you click that one, it does a magical little curve that puts the text on there. Just by clicking and dragging it around, I can rotate it to where I want it. I can also grab the little handlebars and move it in a little bit. Now let's make sure the diameter is all right. Click on the diameter button and you see that there are presets available to you as well as custom settings. I recommend 22 for the inner diameter and for the outer diameter 119. I usually get the best results with those. Then click OK. All right, it's ready to print now. So I go up to the print button and select print. It's ready to print and the little tray that's going to hold the disc while the printer prints on it is now going to come out. Take your blank inkjet printable disc and place it on the tray. Hit the CD tray button to pull the disc back in. And away it goes. So 
It's just as easy as opening up the print CD software, selecting the pictures and the background, then adding text, modifying the text and positioning it. Then you make sure you check your diameter, 22 on the inside, 119 on the outside, and hit print. It's ready to go. And there you got it, a day at the park, ready to be remembered for a lifetime. Epson, exceed your vision.